To create a Turnitin assignment, first turn Editing on. Go to the Assessment and Feedback section and click on Add an Activity or Resource. Scroll down until you see the Turnitin activity and then click on it. Give your assignment a name. It's good practice to ensure that this name is consistent with information given in the module guides. Under Number of Parts, make sure that 3 is selected. You'll now see that you can add information for three separate parts to the assignment. The first part is for on-time submissions. The start date represents the point at which students will be able to start adding their submissions. The due date is when the submission is due. Again, this date should be consistent with information given in the module guide. It is important to ensure that the submission is due on a day and at a time when there is support available for students who may need it. Once the due date has been reached, students will no longer be able to submit into this part of the assignment. The post date is when student grades and feedback are posted to students for them to see. So this will normally be a point after the marking and moderation has taken place. The second part of the assignment is for submissions with mitigating circumstances or teaching and learning support requirements, allowing them to submit within seven days of the deadline. The start date will therefore be the same date and time as the due date for on-time submissions. Students will not be able to submit into this assignment part until after the on-time part has closed. The due date will be seven days from the start date after which point students will no longer be able to submit into this assignment part. The post date will again be some point after the marking and moderation. To ensure that the assignment's overall grade is not split between the three assignment parts, it is important to ensure that this second part is given a grade of zero. The third part of the assignment is for students with mitigating circumstances and teaching and learning support requirements. They are eligible for a one-week extension on top of their extension for mitigating circumstances. Again, the start date will be the same date and time as the due date for the previous part. As soon as the previous part closes, this part will become available. The due date will be 14 days from the original deadline after which students will no longer be able to submit anywhere in this assignment. The post date again will be some point after the marking and moderation. As with the previous part, it is important to ensure that the marks for this part are set to zero. Save and display, and you're done.